My name is Sean Kotner, and I'm a fifth year PhD student at Stanford University. My advisor is Brian Conrad. Before Stanford, I was an undergrad at Penn State. I study algebraic geometry with a special focus on the theory of reductive group schemes. Roughly speaking, a reductive group is a very structured collection of symmetries of certain geometric objects. For example, the collection of rotations of a sphere is a compact Lie group, a fundamental example of a reductive group. Reductive groups, like compact Lie groups, are classified by root systems, two examples of which can be seen here. Reductive groups are ubiquitous in modern number theory, especially through the role they play in the Langlands program. To give an idea of what I do specifically, I need to introduce the concept of modular arithmetic. Say that two integers x and y are congruent modular 12, for example, if their difference is divisible by 12. This is how AM and PM work. 13 o'clock is just 1 o'clock. If we consider integers up to congruence by a particular integer n, then we get a new and interesting number system. If n is a prime number, then this is an example of a field of positive characteristic. In the 1950s, Chevalier realized that for any compact Lie group and any prime number p, there is a corresponding reductive group over the field of integers modulo p, called a finite group of Lie type. These are classified by Dinkin diagrams, a list of which you can see here. In the 1960s, Damon Zero and Grotendieck showed that this is not a coincidence, and that in fact, compact Lie groups and finite groups of Lie type are both avatars of the same object, called a reductive group scheme. Their theory is so robust that it allows for the possibility to prove statements about compact Lie groups via the theory of finite groups and vice versa. In my work, I have focused especially on centralizes and reductive group schemes, which form a very common class of subgroups which show up frequently in the Langlands program. Using modern ideas in algebraic geometry, I relate the behavior of centralizes and compact Lie groups and over fields of positive characteristic. As applications, I have been able to provide a better conceptual grounding for classical results in the theory of finite groups of Lie type. And in joint work with Jeremy Boer and Shang Tang, we have proved new general statements in Galois deformation theory, extending results due to Glozell, Harris, Taylor, and Boer. Starting next year, I will be a postdoc at the University of Michigan, where I hope to share the ideas that I've had with a wide range of people. I hope to find more applications and expand my work in other directions in the future. Finally, I would like to thank the ARCS Foundation for supporting my work this year. It has given me a lot of extra time to write and to think about research. Without its generous contribution, I would not have had the flexibility to pursue these avenues in the way that I have. Thanks for watching, and thanks again to ARCS.